All right, Kathy said she wanted a little snack, so I'm making two jalapeno poppers, and she's making some scrambled eggs. Hey, y'all, I'm Kat. My husband and I moved our family from the city to the country hills of Kentucky to build our homestead, now keto-inspired. David always says, A good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. That's exactly what we're doing on Keto Country Homestead. And that is a lot of smoke coming off of that. So, we'll take that off the heat. Let's finish up. Pull this loose. Pull this plate. Just free of hand in this right now, y'all, so bear with the shaky camera. more. Woo! There we go. Oh yeah. The eggs go in. So we had a little bit of extra egg from the batter for the uh, jalapeno poppers. So instead of throwing that away, obviously we're not going to do that. I said just go ahead and throw a couple more eggs in that batter with the parm of course and we'll go ahead and stir this up. Delicious. Now I got to credit my friend in North Carolina he, uh, he turned me on to Parmesan and eggs. I didn't know how good it was. I doubted him. And uh, he put me to the test on it, man. I'll tell you what, Parm and eggs is really good. So this is, these are almost done. We'll have us a little snack here in a second. Some eggs and a jalapeno popper. How about some barbecue sauce, baby? What do you think? Oh yeah. All right, let's do it. Sugar-free barbecue. Sugar barbecue sauce. Let's see the brand on that. Sugar free barbecue. What's the brand there? G Hughes. G Hughes. All right. Eggs looking nice and scrambled. You know how we do it. We don't want those Gordon Ramsay style scrambled eggs where it's running all over the place. God bless them, but I ain't eating it. I like my scrambled eggs like soap. And there we go. Some good, delicious eggs. No seasoning on them either because the parm is a little bit salty. So we found that we don't need a lot of seasoning on that. And we might put a little bit of pink Himalayan on it just because that's the keto thing to do. But I'll tell you what, we're about to enjoy this thoroughly. Jalapeno popper and like one and a half egg to end our day. And I'll be at about 1,700 calories for the day. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Also, you can see over here, uh, the Instapot. We got about, what, 20 eggs in there? Two dozen, yeah. Okay, 24. So um, those are being hard boiled, and we'll process those tonight and have deviled eggs tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Barbecue sauce. You gotta get a little barbecue sauce in there. Just cause. Oh yeah. That's a jalapeno popper. No doubt about that. Mmm. Let me know in the who's or what's it's below if you wanna know the how's and do's it's on this recipe. Trust me. You want to know how to do this. This is going to be the best jalapeno popper you've ever had in your life. But I promise you, you're ready. I never lie. That is definitely the best. Yes! <laughs> you saw the color come into her face and she realized, what is that? That's the best jalapeno pepper I've ever had. That's it! That's what's up. Boom. Another recipe bites the dust. That is so good. The jalapeno popper. It's so good it'll have you licking your brain. Mmm. Hmm. I'm gonna give you the macros on these. So if you want the recipe, you need to beg me for it. Beg him. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we'll do a recipe video. Tuesday night. 
Mm. Ooh, those eggs are good. Farm fresh eggs. Parmesan cheese. That's it. That's it. I love the parm in it. I had no idea. I owe my friend another apology. It's so good. <laughs> How killer was that snack, though? I want like 50 more. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Is that seriously not like the absolute best jalapeno popper of all time. Heck yes. None of that thick, heavy breading. Mm -hmm. No. Mm. Real good. Four. Let's see. One. Three cheeses. Two cheeses. No. Three. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I made it. I know. Three, I made half of it, y'all. Three cheeses, a jalapeno popper, an egg. I cracked the code, dude. I cracked the keto code. <laughs>